today is my last video for cooking and today also is my last week uh, for cooking in this YouTube because it is uh, my final this is for final final week uh, that I need to do my assignment of cooking so my prof has assigned me to do main course and the main course usually come by appetizer or dessert and I choose dessert actually we need to do these three but uh, we can select so I choose dessert and um, uh, the primary ingredient and main course is meat, seafood, fish or the other uh, protein sauce and for this reason main course is really called as a meat course Okay, now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to my to my main course. So, in my main course, in my main course, I will do grilled chicken and with uh, hollandaise sauce. At the side, this in my main course is loaded mashed potato bite with uh, butchered vegetable. So, my dessert, uh, my dessert, I'm going to make a mini pavlova. So first. Let's go see the ingredients for my dishes, my dis, my dish, and the step to make this dishes. So I hope you can learn more through this video. Let's go. Half carrot chop into batter. One over two cup cherry tomatoes. One cup of broccoli and 1 cup of cauliflower 1 over 2 teaspoon black pepper and salt 1 over 4 cup salted butter 1 over 4 teaspoon brown sugar and 1 over 2 cup vegetable stock Ok now first we need to melt the butter in a skillet over a medium low heat and then when it melts we add brown sugar salt and black paper and also vegetable stock and then we will stir until all the ingredients well combined once it simmer we reduce heat to low and add in all the vegetable for the vegetable you can use any other vegetable that you want not this uh, specific vegetables so now we will stir well to cook the vegetables and then we will cook for 7 minutes or until the vegetables are tender crispy okay now the vegetable is done so i will put in the bowl first before i serve with main course One cup of mashed potato, one over three cup of parmesan cheese, one over two cup of cheddar cheese, one over three cup of breadcrumbs, one over two teaspoon salt and paper, one over three cup of mozzarella cheese, and one nose egg that I will be tense. So one over four cup Holland onion. In a large bowl, we combine mashed potato with chili cheese and then with Holland onions. After that, we will mix until it well combined. Okay, now you just need to divide and shape it into 6 balls. Shape each ball around the shredded mozzarella cheese to cover it completely. So, press the center and then make a hole. After that, you just need to put the shredded mozzarella and then cover it. My best recommendation, I think you need to use the cube 1 mozzarella because it's more easier than the shredded mozzarella. And then make a, bowl, make a ball and then you put in the bowls. Repeat the process until you get 6 to 7 ball of loaded mashed potato. Now uh, I get the 7 ball of loaded mashed potato bite. Now you just need to put in the refrigerator and then cover at least 30 minutes. Okay, in a shallow bowl, we mix breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, salt and paper and then we stir until it well combined for coating the loaded mashed potato bite. After that, you dip uh, the potato ball in the egg wash, then in a crumb mixture, and then painting to help the coating adhere. Okay. After that, uh, 
you will repeat the process until the seven uh, loaded mashed potato bite done coating okay now i'm done coating the loaded mashed potato now you just need to deep fry the loaded mashed potato in a heat oil a few at time until golden brown about uh, two minutes after that you will get nice loaded mashed potato bite and it's really tasty one teaspoon of salt and paper one teaspoon of dried thyme one over two teaspoon of dried rosemary and dried oregano four large garlic mix one one over two teaspoon of lemon zest four tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil 1 3 over 4 LBS boneless chicken bread Okay, we put garlic mix Dried thyme Dried rosemary And dried oregano Black pepper Salt Lemon zest and also 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil ok now you just need to mix all the ingredients that we put earlier until it will combine before we put the chicken inside the bowl ok after that we need to put chicken breast into the bowl and you just need to cook the chicken breast until uh, until the chicken breast we uh, cook with all the ingredients. Okay, now you just need to cover and place the bowl in the refrigerator to let the chicken marinate at least four hour or overnight. Okay, now I'm done marinate the chicken. So we just need to preheat the grill pan to high heat and oil the grits. After that, we place the chicken breast one by one on the grill pan. And then we will cook cover it for 2 to 3 minutes per side. After that, you will get like this. So one is done, others two it's on the way so let's see wow it's so delicious you know we need six nose of egg one cup of granulated sugar one over two teaspoon of lemon juice and vanilla extract two teaspoon of corn flour Okay, now we just need to separate the egg yolk and egg white. One bowl for the egg white. So, uh, don't throw the egg yolk because we can use it uh, in the hollandaise sauce. So, after that, we will beat the 6 egg white on the high speed for 1 minute until soft quick form. And with the mixers on, gradually add sugar and beat 10 minutes on high speed or until stiff quick form. Okay, I think it's already done so I will add the vanilla extract and then lemon juice and then fold in the uh, corn flour into the bowl also and then using a spatula we will whisk until uh, until all the ingredients well blended now we just need to pipe the marriage into 3 to 3 1 over 2 inches wideness onto the parchment paper using a piping bag. Okay, now after that we will indent the center with a spoon to allow the room for cream and then we will bake at 235 Fahrenheit for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Then we will turn the oven off and without opening the door, we will let the meringue in the hot oven another 30 minutes. Okay, for frosting, we need uh, wiping cream and 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay, now... We just need to beat a cold wiping cream with sugar in a cold bowl for 2 to 2 half 
ini our anti wiping cream are spread, uh, spreadable and then for my advice do not avoid over wiping the cream because it can separate the butter and butter meat if we over beaten and then we just need to pipe and then we can decorate the pavlova with the food that we want One over four cup unsalted butter melted, one over four teaspoon salt and paper, one over two teaspoon of lemon juice, and two egg yolks. Okay, now we need to add lemon juice into the egg yolk, and then we will whisk the egg yolk and lemon juice together in a bowl, and until the mixture is thickened and double in volumes. After that, we will place the bowl in the double boiler and then we will continue whisk rapidly and slowly drizzle the melted butter and continue to whisk until the sauce is thickened and double in volume. And for my, info, uh, my advice, do not uh, cook for too long because the egg will become the scrambled egg. Okay, after remove uh, the sauce from the heat, I will add salt and then paper into my sauce and then I will whisk until it well combined. After that, I will cover and place in a warm spot before I serve with my main course. Okay, now we have come to the end of my show. Thank you for watching until the end of, of this video and thank you for watching until the last video. So, I really hope you learn many things from this video and through this uh, uh, other video. So, uh, I also learned doing the cooking with uh, you all. So, uh, this is my last cook in the video. I really appreciate who until the last video and thank you thank you very very much and thank you also to my prof that have teach me how to cook very well even though we are a 10 class in online but I really uh, appreciate what my prof has uh, have uh, teach me so um, maybe we can see in the future maybe I don't know but I really enjoy cooking so I hope you also enjoy cooking and that's it from me so stay safe at home and for the next video I don't know maybe I want to make or not so that's it stay safe stay safe at home and I hope you